Good. Okay. The first thing we want to do is just relax, forget about the rest of the day, what we've been doing, rushing around, etc., etc. A nice deep breath. So we're going to come up and breathe in. As the arms go out and round, we breathe out. And just take our time. So we're coming up through, past the heart, up to the ceiling, breathing in, and then out. As you go out, just put the shoulders behind you slightly, so really opening up that chest. Here we go. Lovely breath. And again, a couple more times. Let's go. Pushing the hands together, a little bit of force. Reaching up, opening out. Two more, I think. Let's go. Pushing in with those hands, reaching up, opening out. Lovely. And one more for luck. Here we go. Pushing in, reaching out. Lovely. Now, I want to be nice and soft in the knees. Just give them a nice little bend and sit back into that pelvis. Yeah, so just tilt that back. And I want to just this rock with a little side bend, just gently. Nothing too much at the moment. Just a lovely little slow, slow. Just reaching out, starting to get that body moving. Take it easy, that's it. Just warming that side up. A couple more. Last one. Good. Little roll of the shoulders. Back we go. Little shoulders roll. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Open up. Squeeze. Good. Then roll them forward. Round we go. Forward. So really hunch that back up. Good. Lovely. And let's take the arms. Round we go. Start to get a little bit of rotation in the body so you can watch that hand go back. Looking up. Looking round. One more. And change to the other arm. Here we go. So up and round. Little twist. If you can open your hands up, so flexing those fingers out, reaching them out. Good. And one more. Back we go. Oh, lovely. This time we're going to bring that arms forward together. So it's a bit of a, as I always say, a butterfly spin. And we go. Good. Really reach around. So it uses the upper back. Nice. Good. One more. Really good. Okay. Little shoulder shrug. We're going to lift the ear, lift the shoulders to the ears and then push them back and down. So opening that chest. It almost looks like a little forward, back, forward, back, but it's actually up. These are all really good if you're feeling a bit cold, stressed, and you take it round the neck and you get tense. Okay. One more. Lovely. And we just go a glance to the right with the head, looking over the shoulder. Glance to the left. And back again. And the last one to the left. Good. Okay, we're going to pedal our feet, so we're just going to start. Lifting those heels up, pedaling those feet. Lovely. Staying nice and tall at the moment. If we're going off for a little walk. Lovely. And then we're going to sit down and do our funny little pedal action. Lifting the heels, sitting into a little bit of a squat, but not too far, that's it. And the brace in the core so that it holds the back nice and firm. Lovely. Good. We're going to do our roll down, okay, if this is for you, if you want to just do it on the chair, so you only go so far, you can do, but we're going to tuck the chin in, roll the shoulders forward, pull the tummy in, stay nice and braced, rolling down, let the head and the arms hang down towards the floor. You can bend one knee and then bend the other if you want to do a slight little rock from side to side, stretch in the back of the legs. And then slowly pull the tummy in, squeeze the bottom, and roll yourself up. And then we're going to go all the way to that little lean back. Good. One more time. Down we go. Chin to chest. Shoulders forward. Rolling down. Hanging. Little pedal with the legs. Bending one, then the other. Tummy in. 
Scrooge the Gloop. Growling up. Up we go, little lean back. Okay, little roll of those shoulders to relax. Now we're going on to something a little bit more. We've done them before. Arms up, arms open, squeezing the shoulder blades. Forward and down. Arms up. So we want to stand nice and tall. So when we actually open the arms, we don't want to sort of arch the back and push it forward. We want to stay nice and firm. So the arms come up, open. That's it, lovely. There's a tendency to sort of lean, but we don't want to really do that. We want to make sure it's just the shoulders that are opening and the back's nice and still. Good. By keeping that back nice and still, that means that the core is working to hold us in that position. There we go. Good. And again. Open. And down. One more. Open. Good. And down. So we're going to do two moves here. We're going to do a nice hip circle, taking the foot out into a squat. Okay. Then we come up, we do a nice hip circle, down into a squat. Use a chair if you feel you want to have something to just lean on. And then down. Sitting right back. Nice hip circle, nice and slow. And sit back. So it's quite a wide squat. Okay, so lovely hip circle taking it out. And down we go. Good job you can't hear my hips clicking. <laughs> Here we go. Sitting back. Good. So we're always trying to keep the head and the chest up. Here we go, so if we go down, we stays up, and again, let's do that one more each side. Here we go, one more, nice circle, taking it out a little bit wider, and sitting back. Good, lovely. So we've done these before, we have a little hip extension, so this might be where you want to have the chair so you can hold on to. One arm goes out, one leg goes out the back. So we go same leg. It's a little bit of a Superman move. Reaching, just make sure that the body tilts forward. Tilt. Here we go. So, reach. So, I'm really reaching out with that hand and out with the leg. So, I stay on the same side. One more. I don't know where I move. <laughs> Good. Now, we're going to change to the other side. So, a little bit of a balance. Okay, so everything's got to work. The core's got to work. Here we go. So, we're going to reach. And a little squeeze at the bottom. Good. Well done. That's good. Lovely. And again, stretch. This is if two commands taking off. Here we go. Stretch. Let's go one more this side. Good. Lovely. Good. And just give us those little pedal. Just working those hips and those legs out. Good. Okay. So we've done curtsies before. Our little curtsies. Okay, so we're just going to practice a couple of our little curtsies from one side to the other. And I'm going to show you how we're going to progress those today. So we just take the leg behind and a little dip. If it's too much for anybody's knee, just don't dip so much. Okay? Okay, so it's up to you. You can go deeper, or you can just come around and do a little dip. Still going to work the glutes, which is really important for posture. Good, lovely. Looking good. Last one. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how we're going to progress that today. We're going to take both hands down. They don't have to touch the floor. So you're not reaching. But both hands down, okay? And then you come up and reach up to the sky. The leg just goes out to do a little tap. We go back down. Goes up. And a little tap. We've got two more this side. So reach down. And reach up, lovely. So it's all about going all the way down. Last one this side. And reach up. You should feel that in that glute there. Are you ready for the other side? So we're going to down as we come up. Lovely and tall, almost a little lean back if you can. Down we go. Nice and steady today. Lovely and tall. Stretching that body, down we go. There we go, lovely reach. One last time, reaching down, keeping the body up, and push up. Oh, well done, little pedal. Working those glutes, good, well done. Okay, we're gonna go out into a wide stance. We've done these before again, so we're just gonna rock those hands, changing the palms from down to up, as we rock. 
Okay, now it's up to you how wide you want to go with your legs and how deep. Okay, you can go right out and reach, or you can just stay tall and just reach a little way. Just rocking. Good. Lovely. And then we're going to hold it one side, bend that leg, hands by the ears. We're just going to tilt our elbow towards that knee and come back up. And again, holding the core nice and firm. Again, you can bend the leg and have the feet as wide apart as you want. One more. Down we go. Good. Rocking again. Side to side. Nice. Good. Well done, everyone. Are you ready for the other side? So, let's take the weight over. So, the weight transfers over. Leg bend. Hands by the ears. And we just do a little stretch. Tilt to the side. Just as far as you can. If you want to put the hand down to take some weight, you can. You can do this. You're still going to get the stretch. One more without taking the weight. Good. A couple of little rocks. Now we've got to get out of this position. <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to lower yourself down. Okay. And then you're going to wiggle your feet in. And then you're going to roll up. There we go. Well done. And just give yourself a little... We're going to go into this ski in action just to let everything loosen again. So our lovely ski and flow in action. Drop in. And reach. Drop. And reach. Okay, do that a couple more times. I'm going to switch the music again. We're going to go through a few different ones today. I'll show you the, we're going to do a little flow, okay, so a nice little sequence of moves. It's going to be, I'll show you side. just a knee lift, in and out the back, then the hip circle that we did before, so the hip circle into the wide squat. Okay, watch again, so knee lift, same leg, goes out the back, okay, hip circle, into the squat. All right, do you want to join me for this one? So opposite hand goes up as the knee comes up. Opposite hand goes out the front as we lift the leg. Our little hip circles, out to a squat position, down we go. Good, then we're on the other leg. Are you ready? Lift, reach out. Whoop, my balance is gone. <laughs> a knee circle, down we go, and a lovely squat. Good. Let's keep this going. Here we go. So, lovely little balance. That knee. Out to the front and back. Good. Hold them as long as you can. Down we go. So we're going to go really steady and slow today. Here we go. So, knee lift. Out the back. Hip circle. And squat. Looking good. Let's go again. Knee lift. Out the back, little kick, circle of those hips, taking it out, and down. Very good. And again, lovely balance. Here we go, up, out the back, pull that tummy in, lovely and stretch, circle, and down. We're going to do one more each side. Here we go. Knee lift, then lean, stretch, circle. Down we go. Other side. And balance. Good. Up again. Lovely. Circle. And down. Good. Well done. Okay, so that's the sequence. We're going to revisit that in a minute. So park that one in the brain. Okay. So we've got our down and our up again here. So we're going to go down into our curtsy and reach up. It's all about getting the ribs away from the hips, so it's a lovely long, tall body. And down again. Good. One more. If you're only going to here, that's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to go up, lovely and tall. Let's change sides. Here we go. Going down. And reach up. Down. And reach up. 
again. If it's too much for the knees, just take a little dip and do the reach. One more. There we go. Good. Lovely. Now I want you to grab your chair a second. Bring your chair in. Okay, so this is only for people whose backs are okay for the rotation. If they aren't, you can stand and do the cat-cow and have a nice little stretch. Okay, so if you're okay with the rotation, we're going to look behind us and we're going to tuck the needle, thread the needle underneath. We're going to look back and we're going to reach through. Lovely back mobility, but if you've got any back issues, just really be careful with this twist in action. Reaching under, looking up. So really think this time, and my hips drop in, what we don't want is the hips to drop through. It's not golf swing, okay? So we just want to keep the hips lovely and still, and it's the back that has to move. So just two, two more, thinking about those hips, keeping them lovely and stiff. And then we change sides, okay? Right, are you ready? So we're going to just turn and look up and back, and we're going to reach through. Turn and reach through. Okay, so one more. This side and reach through. Lovely. And then we're just going to do a couple of cats. So we're just going to lift the back up nice and high, show you sideways, lift the back up, round it off, and then down into the cow position. And just some little pelvic tilt backwards and forward. Okay, lovely. So, we're going to do that all again. Round two. So it's the flow. Lifting, knee, out the back, hip circle, out into squat. Okay, are you ready? Round two, you know what you're doing this time. Here we go. So opposite arm to leg just comes apart. Then we go out the back and a little stretch. Circle, out we go, little squat. Good. Ready for the balance? So, hold the tummy in. Stay tall, little lean, good. And then round we go, hip, and sit. A couple more each time, here we go. Up, out the back, lovely and stretch. Circle, sit back. A nice flow, but you're using the, all the body here. Everything's happened to work. Out we go, round, team effort. One more each side, here we go. Forward, out the back, lovely stretch. Good, looking good with the balance. Here we go, down. Last one. Lift, out we go, reach. And circle, down we go, last time. Perfect. Our little curtsy. Okay, so it's down with the arms. And then back up and lovely and tall. Even if you just do this, and reach up, keeping that core lovely embraced, all nice and tight. One more this side, reach down, good. Change to the other side, here we go. So, down, and up, good. Slowing down here, which is good. And reach, good. One more. Down we go. Reach. All the way up. Up we go. Lovely. Now we've got a rotation of the chair. Bring that in. Okay, keeping those hips pointing towards the chair. Try not to twist. Let the, let the back do all the work. So we're going to look up. And we reach up again. And look up. Really pull that tummy in. Looking up. Hopefully the more we do these, you'll feel the back start to open up a little bit more. Last one. Let's go other side. Here we go. And looking back and through. Let the chair take up the strain. Great position for you to get the maximum movement in your back. One more this side. Up we go. Good. Lovely. And let's just do a couple of cat cows. So pulling that tummy in, rounding the back, bend the knees, 
and then tilt the other way. And then back up, tuck everything under, and then out the other way. Good. Lovely. Okay, coming back to stationary. Good. That's the main bulk of the exercises, so we can do some lovely stretches now. I want to take both arms up together. Take your time, you can do a breath if you want. We could be breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. In. And out. Go again. In. And out. Actually, let's go the opposite way, so we're going to go in as we go back. Not so easy. And out as we come forward. So, in lovely and tall. Really stand up lovely and tall. Good, good, good. Come down. Last one. Let's breathe. In. And out. Good. Well done. We've got some little side bends. Take careful, but you can lean on the chair. It's just helping you reach up. And pull over. Very controlled. Brace in the tummy for this part. Keep your nice and tall. A little lean. Good. And again. One last time, so the chair can take the weight if you need it to. Good, okay. So change side, or just I'm going to just swing the chair around, so I've got lovely lots of room. Okay, so again, just reaching it up on a little lean. You really feel it from the hip all the way through to the shoulder. And we can do this with a breath if you would like. So, let's do two more with a breath so we can breathe in. Breathe out. And again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, lovely. Good. We're going to do a couple of little squats using the chair as just support. We're going to sit down. I'll tell you what, we're going to go up onto our toes. Let's go all the way. So we're going to go down into our little squat. And then we're going to go up onto our toes. If you don't want the chair that fine, you can go down. And you can go up. One more. Down we go. Balance is great. And up. Good. So pushing against the chair slightly, just make sure it's not going to shoot across the room. We're going to go into our calf stretch. Okay, so the back leg nice and straight. Front leg bent, and you can push towards the chair like we used to sort of push against the wall in the hall. And you can push and really feel that in that lower calf muscle down here. Okay. Nice. Anybody who does a lot of walking or running, it's good to stretch out the calves. Good. And we're going to come forward, change legs, push the other one behind. Just check that the feet are both pointing forwards and they're not out to the side. Use the chair to lean into. Lovely. Just holding it there, stretching into it. Okay, you've got a couple of options here with the quad. If you can, grab hold of your foot or trousers or sock or whatever you might have on and pull that leg in. If that's not for you, you can always just pop your leg onto the chair. Okay, we just stretch in the front of the leg. Whatever's right for you, you might put your knee on there if your knees are okay. And you can feel that stretch down the front. Or are we just going to stand and hold that leg in? Not for everybody, I know, if you've got sore knees. Or you can use your band to hold it. Lovely. Changing sides. Okay. So, we're just going to hold on. Whether we can do whatever you can grab. Try to keep the knees together so the knees not in front, the knees are together. Holding it there. Good. Just giving yourself a little bit of space. You can have the chair lean on if you want because we're just going to do some little side stretches. Just taking those, stretching the inside of the leg. And you can hold it one side. Pause for that inside stretches. And then rock again. 
because most of our lives we're walking very straight we don't tend to open the legs up to just give these a nice stretch so they really affect your hip flexors your posture your lower back all sorts of things start getting tight around here And we've got one more where we're going to just sit back into a hamstring stretch. So the front leg goes nice and straight, back leg bends, hand on the straight leg, not, sorry, on the bent leg, not the straight leg. Do it right. And just sit back. So you're sitting your weight as far back over the bottom as possible. And this leg is having a nice. Good. and I'll show you if you're struggling with that. So change legs, but I'll show you how you can do that in the chair. If you need to, you sit right on the edge of the chair, straighten one leg, lean forward, and you should see it in that straight leg. So if standing's a little bit tough for you on your um, knees or anything, sit right forward, lean the body forward. Okay, try not to collapse, lean forward, and you'll feel it in the back of that leg stretched out front. You can try that sitting if you wanted to. Cool. Lovely. Okay. So, come and join me seated in the chair. I thought we'd try something different today. Okay. I thought, as we do in circuit training, we quite often finish the session with just relaxation. And we hadn't really done that in uh, the fitness classes for a little while so I thought we would finish with some today. So I just want you to just give me a little wiggle of those feet. Mm. Sit back. Just turn the feet one foot and then change direction. And then I want you to just turn one foot and change direction. Lovely. So I just want to do some straightening the legs, literally just straightening and bending the legs. Lovely. Good. I want us to just turn, grab hold of the chair. I want your shoulder to come towards me, a lovely twist in your back. Just take it gently if you've got any issues there at the moment. Just be gentle. And face the other way. One more each side. And back again. Good. Now, everybody's missing lovely big hugs off the family and friends, so we're going to do a lovely big hug, which is forward and rounded. Grab into the person in front of you. They're very small, the little grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And then we're going to open up the chest and sit lovely and tall. We're going to give that hug again. Give yourself a big hug. And then sit lovely and tall. And we're going to do that one more time. So let's round the back. Forward we go. And then sit lovely and tall. I just want us to do a couple of circles with the shoulders. And then rest the hands with the palms facing up to the ceiling. I want us to take a lovely deep breath in, fill that chest with air. And then we're going to breathe out. You can almost slouch, I'll let you. Let's breathe in again. Sit lovely and tall, shoulders back, good posture. And then breathe out and sag back down again. You can pop your glance down towards the floor if you want to and just listen, shut your eyes if you want. So we're going to sit up lovely and tall and breathe in. And then slouching down if you want, round in the back and breathe out. And again, breathing in through the nose if you can, lovely and tall, sit up. And then down, breathing out. Try to just think about how you feel as you breathe in. All the muscles we've just used, great balancing for the feet of work, the core of work. As you breathe out, breathing in one more time. Lovely deep breath, fill that chest in there, and then breathe out. And we're just going to rock the arms like we did at the beginning, just let them float out to the side. Just 
lifting out to the side, move your glance at the floor, leave your eyes shut, just reaching out slightly, just rocking the body from one side to the other. As we started the session, we came together with the hands in front of the heart and went up to the ceiling. A little bit of pressure on the hands and then we went round out into the big circle. And we're going to go again. On we go, push the hands together, breathing in. Sit up lovely and tall. Try and stay there as the arms go down and back. And again, up through the middle, push the hands together. Keeping the eyes shut, glancing down, whatever you prefer. Let's do this two more times, lovely big deep breath. Out through the mouth. And one last time, here we go. And out. Good. Okay. You can have your glance come back up. Let's do a little shoulder roll. Good. Super. Okay. So I just wanted to try just sitting down and giving, giving us a little bit of a calming session today. Okay.